Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I hope y'all are doing amazing. What's up y'all? All right, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the roles if you need to. It could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you. I am picking up on Libra. Oh, I pulled a Libra card. Interesting. You can have a Libra moon placement, some of you. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to start with one of these. It says butterfly clan, ducks fly moon. This is the Native American um, zodiac. Okay. So you pulled the raven, which is Libra energy, September the 23rd through October the 23rd. Intelligent, capable, balanced, fair, friendly, approachable, sociable, harmonious, peaceful, justice, at times indecisive. Works best in a team, hates confrontation, and avoiding tension. Your message is to learn to express your own needs and wants to create balance, okay? So this shows me, it's implied anyway, it may not be true for everybody, but it's saying here that some of you might be sitting on the fence about something. It could be about maybe um, speaking your mind, approaching someone, maybe trying to really fine tune how you want to say something, but there's a need for you to express yourself so that your needs are met. Because something is out of balance here. But let's look at your career and finances first. Animals. Okay. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Somebody does work with animals. I'm not even going to go into all the ways that could, you know, matter. But you might. And then we have children. Okay. And we have a lion here. <laughs> your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children somebody could be counselors teachers nurses you work with children or animals so some of you you have really kind hearts it says you're friendly sociable and approachable so you have a, a bedside manner there's something about you that's very relatable to people when it comes to however you make money or this is what you should be doing with your life okay something about cats could be significant i'm seeing a uh what is this a leopard i think that's a leopard and a um lion is here Okay, we have body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Okay, so some of you are really good with your hands. You have healing hands. Okay, this is the way that you do your spiritual work on this planet. You have a healing touch. Let's get one of these and see what we got. We have retail. If you have an idea in mind, this is giving you the green light. That there is a need for it okay consider careers in retail or e-commerce whether it's goods or services save time and energy and add passive income i'm struggling to see these cards y'all what okay taking your business online so some of you need to take your business online especially if you haven't um a desire if you haven't already started it to be retail okay goods or services Making money online is what Spirit is encouraging you to do. Let's pull three of these. Spirit, what does Libra need to know right now? What are the messages for Libra? Spirit, three cards. Okay. We got reassurance. We got butterfly, butterfly painting. What else? One more, please. Just one more. Thank you. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have vampire. Being drained of your time and energy and fears from the past that haunt you. Who's draining your energy? Who's the energy vampire around you? Because this is the person you need to set better boundaries with. We have fan. A desire for change and new experiences. Yeah. Um, butterfly painting is creativity, intuition, and rebirth. Staying in a situation for too long. Mm -hmm. And then we have reassurance. Feeling safe and happy in a relationship, caution, danger, or nervousness. Somebody here is not meeting your needs emotionally. And you have to speak up because this person is an energy vampire. That's the only way they're going to change or let you know that they're not going to change so you can move on. Is if you stand your ground with them, tell them how you feel, speak your mind. And even if you have felt like you've been doing that, maybe your approach needs to change or maybe some, some consequences need to be dished out to this person. You just want to feel safe with somebody. That's all. But this butterfly painting says that this is about to transform. It's going to end one way or another. It's either going to end with them changing, stepping up to the plate and give you this reassurance, or it's going to end and you're going to move forward, okay? But you definitely are ready for something new, either a new version of them or what. Yeah, look at this, the lovers. Gemini energy. 
this is what you want. You want this person to choose you. You want to be their choice. Show me more about the lovers. The strength card. You feel like this connection could be strengthened. There's still some things here um, that are evolving in this connection. Okay. Leo energy. You got two majors. Somebody could be born in 68, 86, June 8th. August 6th could be significant. Tell me more about the lovers with the strength card. There's definitely strong emotions and feelings between you and someone. You could be in an interracial relationship as well. Okay. So we have here the Ace of Swords. This is Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. This is time for you to speak up. This is communication. This is honest communication. Okay. Telling the truth. Integrity. Integrity is important to you. You just want fairness with this person. I feel like in the past, you've had the tendency to kind of like, I don't know. This is about situational awareness. It feels like in the past, you were letting things fly. She has this, this kite in her hand. I just feel like you let things slide and you let things go in the past with this person. Some of their choices. It's a need for you to speak up though with this piece of swords here. Like I already said, show me this butterfly painting. So something is changing one way or another. We got the Six of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. <clears throat> and we got the King of Pentacles. See, the King of Pentacles, this is Taurus energy. It's somebody you can rely on, someone you can depend on. I'm noticing he's like waving his hand. I feel like this could be somebody coming into your life. For some of you, there's somebody you have history with, a lot of fond memories with, though. Um, and it feels like for a long time, this is what you've wanted. For some of you, the last year is significant with this person. Others of you, you're about to meet someone new. Could be an earth sign. If this person doesn't get it together, and some of you have a child with this person, if they don't get it together, you're going to move on to somebody more stable. This is a stable offer coming in. From someone who wants to share their world and their wealth with you. This is the Midas touch. This is a father figure. If you have a child with someone, they will definitely come in and still help you and be there for you and love your child the same way they will love that child if that child belongs to them. I feel like there's financial stability. This is you bettering yourself. Getting on better footing financially for sure. Okay. Oh, of course I dropped my cards, y'all. So give me a second. Yeah, but I'm seeing strong Bur um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Earth sign energy. But this past person still kind of has a hold on you, um, Libra. Some of you could be on a Libra Scorpio cusp. There might be a need for some kind of um, inner child healing. Because the Six of Cups can talk about being stuck in the past and needing to forgive and mature and move on with your life. And it can have something to do with the father figure for some of you. Then somebody wants to invest in you. Some idea that you have, some seed that you're planting is going to cultivate, grow into something really fruitful, really um, financially beneficial to you. But this Six of Cups with this staying in the situation for too long, I feel like there's a lot of fond memories between you and someone. This woman looks really miserable on this card and the man is like smirking. So it just feels like there's a feminine here I'm talking to who just needs to have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her partner. And look, Either we're going to get this together or we're not. But we can't stay, you know, in the same situation forever. Show me a desire for change and new experiences with difficulty communicating with others. The Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Taurus energy. Five years could be significant. And then we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. What else? This is a spiritual connection here. I don't know if it's the new person or the old person. Let's see. Judgment, spiritual, yeah. This is your inner calling, your higher calling, North Node energy, two majors. So there, there's a spiritual transformation taking place here. This breakup with this person, because I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be a breakup. I feel like you're going to move on. Um, it feels like this is a catalyst to spiritual growth here. What's at the bottom? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, energy with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. See, I feel like you may be divorcing someone or breaking up with someone. Like, you put your best foot forward. You try it really, really hard. Yeah, look at this. The Nine of Pentacles, being single, self-sufficient, independent. You could be on the Virgo Libra cusp. Nine years could be significant. 
I'm saying eight years. There's a lot of pentacles here. So this might be a relationship or something that you're walking on eggshells because you feel like it could cost you financially, maybe a costly divorce or something like that. I don't know. But this strength card, I mean, look at how he's like in this wheelchair trying to rehabilitate himself. And remember that card said that some of you could do like work with your hands. Say, for instance, you are a person who does that. You might be meeting your loved one in the work capacity, meaning they could be a patient that's rehabbing or something that you end up falling in love with. You got a lot of majors here. You got three majors back to back. Yeah, this is divine timing. This is spirit being in control here. This is a winning streak as well. This is a graduation spiritually. Okay. Yeah, there's a breakup here that I feel like this holding on, right? Staying in a situation for too long, that's definitely Hierophant energy. Because it's like, I'm supposed to be with this person for religious purposes. I can't divorce them. I can't whatever. Like, But this person has left you no choice, leaving you out in the cold, okay? Strong Taurus, Scorpio, strong um, fixed sign energy is here. Also Virgo and Libra is here as well. But look, this this is you making a decision here. Being assertive. Speaking up for yourself with this energy vampire. The more, you know, the Eight of Pentacles talks about practice makes perfect. It's like the more you work on how you approach this situation, the better it is. This also talks about it, this card here, this Raven card that you work best in a team situation. Some of you might need a mediator or something to come in and help you to navigate this situation. But you definitely have to speak up and tell somebody what your needs are. I feel like this person is not necessarily going to be the one that you choose. I actually feel like you're going to have a choice between two people. And there's someone new that's going to come into your energy field. And it feels like an earth sign, okay? So those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.